After years of silent travel through the void, drifting ever farther from the warmth of the sun and the realm of planetary influence, Voyager 2 has once again stirred unease in the scientific community and the public alike. When NASA's deep space tracking stations finally locked onto a long-awaited signal, a whisper from the edge of interstellar space, what came through was not a reassuring pulse of continuity, but confirmation of a terrifying possibility that had been speculated upon for years. The data contained within the final coherent signal from Voyager 2 appears to confirm what many had feared, that the spacecraft is encountering regions of space beyond our understanding, where the familiar laws of physics seem to weaken and give way to something entirely new, something unknown. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. Voyager 2, launched in 1977, has defied expectations for decades. It explored Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, delivering stunning imagery and critical scientific data. But the true challenge for Voyager 2 began after its planetary tour, when it ventured into the outer reaches of the solar system and crossed the heliopause, the invisible boundary marking the end of the sun's influence and the beginning of interstellar space. Since then, it has been humanity's silent observer, drifting through the cosmic ocean where no spacecraft had ever been before. With each faint signal, it shared glimpses of this strange frontier. For years, the data showed measurable drops in solar particles, spikes in galactic radiation, and the gentle sway of magnetic fields. But now, something has changed. The final signal, received after months of intermittent silence, was unlike any of its predecessors. The stream of data was fragmented, distorted, and contained signatures that baffled even seasoned astrophysicists. At first, analysts assumed it might be a transmission glitch, a side effect of distance, radiation, or a weakening power source. But as they filtered the noise and extracted core information, a pattern began to emerge. The structure of magnetic fields Voyager 2 was passing through no longer aligned with the established models. Even more unnerving, the radiation levels didn't just increase, they fluctuated wildly, as though Voyager had passed into a turbulent realm where energetic particles swirled unpredictably, defying our long-held notions of how matter behaves in a vacuum. One particularly alarming aspect of the signal was a temporary drop in signal coherence. A digital heartbeat, once stable, seemed to pulse erratically for several hours before resuming. In a system designed to function with precision, such a deviation suggests a profound external influence. Some theorists have long proposed that interstellar space might not be as inert as once believed. The final transmission from Voyager 2 appears to support that idea. The region it's entering may be rich with uncharged particles, electromagnetic anomalies, or even dark matter interactions that subtly affect spacecraft systems. These aren't just speculations anymore. They're beginning to look like real phenomena. Even more concerning was the gravitational data. Voyager 2's trajectory has always been carefully calculated, taking into account the pull of known celestial bodies and the expected drag, or lack thereof, in interstellar space. But the recent data suggests something new, a minute but measurable deviation in its path, as though it had passed near a mass that shouldn't be there. There are no stars, planets, or large asteroids within light years of its location. Yet the anomaly was real. Gravity doesn't lie something out there is exerting influence. This brings into focus one of the most unsettling theories, the existence of massive, dark, and previously undetected structures lurking in interstellar space. These could be rogue planets, invisible black holes, or clusters of dark matter. If Voyager 2 has indeed drifted into the gravitational field of such an object, it marks the first direct detection of a phenomenon that has only been inferred through distant cosmic lensing events. The implications of this are vast. It means space isn't just emptiness punctuated by stars, but a domain where hidden giants drift silently, indifferent to our ignorance. Another layer to the signal was electromagnetic in nature. Embedded within the transmission were irregular wave patterns, not naturally explainable by known cosmic radiation or background noise. These weren't just random bursts. They showed signs of modulation. The patterns hinted at structured, possibly periodic sequences. While no one is claiming extraterrestrial intelligence, the suggestion that Voyager 2 might have encountered an environment where natural processes mimic artificial signals is deeply unsettling. Could interstellar space itself, 
shaped by forces unknown, produce what looks like intelligent modulation? Or is this an indicator of a completely foreign process, previously unrecorded in any scientific literature? The implications of this modulation stretch beyond curiosity. If interstellar space contains regions capable of generating such signals naturally, it could challenge our entire search for extraterrestrial intelligence. For decades, SETI and similar programs have been tuned to look for non-random modulated signals in the hope of detecting intelligent life. But what if nature in its most alien environments can create similar signatures? Voyager 2's final message might force us to reconsider what counts as intelligent communication. At a more immediate level, the findings present a technical challenge. The signal, though faint, was not wholly unexpected. Voyager 2 was due to pass through this region, and NASA had prepared for the increasing difficulty of communication. But the specific distortions and the irregular signal timing suggest that future communication, if any, is likely to be nearly impossible. The spacecraft's instruments may remain operational, and its RTG radioisotope thermoelectric generator still supplies a trickle of power, but the environment may now be too hostile or too foreign for our systems to interpret what it's sending back. It's as though the spacecraft is slipping into a new dimension of reality, where our Earth-based physics no longer provide the tools to understand what's happening. These changes also challenge our broader understanding of the interstellar medium. For decades, it was believed to be a quiet zone, a sparse field of atoms, dust, and radiation. Voyager 2 has now forced a re-evaluation. The data suggests turbulence, variability, and complexity. There may be regions of increased density, zones of energetic instability, and unseen electromagnetic barriers. The spacecraft's instruments, though decades old, are still sufficiently sensitive to register these anomalies. The fact that they were never predicted by models crafted from Earth-based observations reveals the limits of our celestial understanding. This also raises pressing questions about humanity's future ambitions, plans for interstellar probes, crewed missions beyond the solar system, and even theoretical concepts of interstellar travel all assume that space, while vast and empty, is fundamentally stable. Voyager 2's signal seems to undercut that assumption. What if there are regions where navigation becomes impossible, where radiation fluctuates beyond shielding capability, or where gravitational distortions disorient even the most sophisticated guidance systems? These aren't just obstacles. They could be existential barriers to spacefaring civilizations. Perhaps most unnerving of all was the final element in the transmission. Voyager 2, using its primitive onboard system, sent a diagnostic pulse indicating the relative health of its instruments. All systems showed expected degradation, until the magnetometer. For reasons yet unknown, it registered an abrupt shift in the ambient magnetic field, not over days, but within a five-minute interval. This kind of magnetic spike suggests the spacecraft may have passed through a boundary, a kind of threshold separating different space environments. Theories abound, magnetic reconnection events, exotic particle fields, or even interstellar weather but none fully explain the sharpness or intensity of the reading. Voyager 2 was never meant to last this long. Its systems were built for durability, but not to peer into cosmic abysses that challenge human comprehension. Yet, against all odds, it survived long enough to bring us this message, a cryptic warning or an unintended revelation. The fear many scientists shared wasn't rooted in horror or superstition, but in the acknowledgement that there are limits to our understanding that fear is now confirmed. Something is out there, and it operates outside our existing frameworks. No alarm sounded, no dramatic malfunction occurred, but in its quiet, steady transmission, Voyager 2 spoke of a cosmos far more complex, more hostile and more mysterious than even our most ambitious theories dared to imagine. The spacecraft has not died in a traditional sense. It may continue drifting, perhaps still collecting data that will never reach us but its last confirmed signal has marked a turning point in our engagement with the universe. It has shown that as we press outward into the darkness, we may encounter not just the unknown, but the unknowable. There's an eerie symbolism in Voyager 2's final coherent words. It ventured beyond the borders of the sun's rule, carrying the hopes, voices, and technology of an entire species. What it found at the threshold of the stars was not welcoming emptiness, but dynamic chaos and invisible force. The interstellar void, once believed to be a vast silence, has turned out to be a storm. 
If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us? What are your thoughts on Voyager 2's final signal? What do you think it revealed? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.